Let me ask you: Learning a second language, what makes you feel the most insecure? Not sure you agree or not, but for myself, it is the pronunciation. So it's really not about like how many vocabulary words I've already know. It's more like, am I saying the words correctly? Do people understand what I'm trying to say? Well, especially learning Mandarin Chinese, with so many characters sharing same pronunciations, tones become really important. In one of my previous videos, I talked about easy ways to master Chinese pin tones. Check it out if you haven't. Today, I'm going to talk about the tricky third tone specifically. I dare to say that the third tone is actually the least outstanding one in Mandarin Chinese. You will agree with me soon. In case you are a beginner, let me remind you: the third tone is the one that goes down and then up. It's like mm hmm, mm hmm. Third tone by itself, one single character third tone is straightforward, like good, how, how. However. When third tone is combined with another tone, then it gets tricky. So I'm gonna show you some examples, and I will provide two versions of pronunciation for each vocabulary word. I chose like two character vocabulary, but of course there are like three character vocabulary or four character vocabulary as well. But today we're gonna use two character vocabulary as an example. So you can see different combinations here. The third tone combined with the first tone, second tone, another third tone, and fourth tone. Based on your sense, tell me which ones sound more authentic or natural. Every day, 每天，每天 France. 法国，法国。Hello， 你好，你好。Rice， 米饭，米饭。So which one sounds more natural or authentic? E number one. That's what the textbook taught you. R number two. That is what you hear in daily life, which sounds more authentic. So, what is the trick here? You probably realized already. The authentic way to pronounce it is not to fully pronounce it. Do it halfway instead. But there's one rule for two third tones combined together. We're gonna make the first third tone character second tone. For example, hello, that's 你好 both third tone, right? It becomes 你好 Now let's read them together. 每天法国你好米饭真好，别走。也许这里。So trust me, to sound authentic in Mandarin, don't play the third tone. Also, try to make your second tone going up, ah,、uh, and the fourth tone going down, ah.、Uh, Very exaggerating, and that is the trick to sound authentic speaking Mandarin. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on like or to subscribe it on YouTube. 我们下次见。